Yehezqel chapter 8. And it was in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders of Yehudah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord Yahweh fell there upon me. Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins and downward, fire, and from his loins and upward, as the appearance of brightness, as it were glowing metal. And he put forth the form of a hand, and took me by the fringe of my head, and the Spirit lifted me up between earth and skies, and brought me in the visions of God to Yerushalem, to the door of the gate of the inner court that looketh toward the north, where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy. And behold, the glory of the God of Yisrael was there, according to the appearance that I saw in the plain. Then he said to me, Son of Adam, lift up thy eyes now, the way toward the north. So I lifted up my eyes the way toward the north, and behold, northward of the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. And he said to me, Son of Adam, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Yisrael do commit here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary? But thou shalt again see yet other great abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then he said to me, Son of Adam, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said to me, Go in, and see the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things, and abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Yisrael portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the elders of the house of Yisrael, and in the midst of them stood Yahzaniah, the son of Sharpan, every man with his censer in his hand, and the odour of the cloud of incense went up. Then said he to me, Son of Adam, hast thou seen what the elders of the house of Yisrael do in the dark, every man in his chambers of imagery? For they say, Yahweh seeth us not, Yahweh hath forsaken the land. He said also to me, Thou shalt again see yet other great abominations which they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of Yahweh's house, which was toward the north, and behold, there sat the women weeping for Tammuz. Then said he to me, Hast thou seen this, O son of Adam? Thou shalt again see yet greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of Yahweh's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of Yahweh, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of Yahweh, and their faces toward the east. And they were worshipping the sun toward the east. Then he said to me, Hast thou seen this, O son of Adam? Is it a light thing? to the house of Yehudah, that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence, and have turned again to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore will I also deal in wrath. My eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, 
yet will I not hear them. 